the Minister of State for Northern Uganda, Honorable Grace Freedom Kuyushwin, in her capacity as extended support to Divine Mercy House of Love Babies Home, located in Paida Town Council, the only babies home in Zombo District opened by Nebi Catholic Diocese, upon delivering the items that include, among others, posho, beans, and sugar to the home. The few children who were found still playing by the time of handing over the items to the administrator of the baby's home, they received the support with a lot of happiness and blessings. Dr. Christine Cora, a neurosurgeon taking care of the children, also a person who was raised in a children's home, says they are managing 36 children at the moment, and most of these children were picked as premature. I decided to give back to God because also me, I was brought up in a whole orphanage and my parents dumped me. So after school, I said, what can I give back to God? I said, let me go to the place where I don't know even the language. At least I saved one soul. I came here to save one soul, but I ended up saying, let me give everything for them. I don't earn anything for myself, but for them. We started when we have only two children, but now we are 36 children. And all of them, like I said, we get them when they are prematures. They are dumped, toilets, in garbages, anywhere. We just keep bring them here and ask God help us to maintain them. And we have not given out any child because we registered this orphanage as a permanent. That means this is their home. So we don't give them out. Maybe unless someone comes, we don't know whether you come to claim a child, that is not our work, it will go through the government. To... However, Dr. Christine disclosed that the community and the local leaders have not embraced them as far as local supports are concerned. She recommends the minister for what she has donated to the baby's home. And uh, presently, there are many challenges, but briefly, one, like I said, the community has not pressed us. And I am sorry to say, maybe even the government, because if the LC1 is not coming in, if the, the LC2 is not coming in, so with, for us we are thinking even the government maybe has not known about us, I don't know, but the government has not come in. in. We are just helping them by the grace of God. Divine grace is, is helping us take care of them, of these children. And another challenge is, is, of course, their food. Paying their workers is very uh, challenging because you bring a worker and comes here, you tell you if it is not 300, if you eat too much, eh, and yet you have to give them food, you have to give them shelter, you have to plan for the next future. And if the community can embrace us, they give them everything they want, what or any they have, however rich or thing, eh, I think we can take care of these children. If we had like four, five honorable graces in this, this place, I think we would be not lacking anything. We do not be having any challenge. Because this one will help here, this one here, this one there. But we are all along by ourselves unless she comes in. I appeal to the well witchers. We are here, these are our children, these are important people of the, the future. Tomorrow they will come before important people and they will help us because we don't know what they come to. I just hurt them. If you have anything, even not even money or food, just come and say hello to these children so that they know they are belonging. Because like any other mother, minister found it worth to support the baby's home. I was shown Dr. Christine's orphanage and she invited me here. I felt the passion she felt. But I think she feels more than me because she's looking after 36 children, which many parents cannot do. It's difficult, not that because they don't want, but it is difficult to commit your time to look after 36 children. When people who have two, three, five are also getting challenges in looking after them. And she tries to educate them, she feeds them. Children are delicate when they are growing up, they can fall sick. And so I thought, why don't I give a hand to support her, but also to support the children? It may not be much. Now that I have come today, I feel much better that I have given a hand. And this is something which all of us should do. 
But she now appeals to the district leadership of Zombo to embrace the baby's home and calls on the parents to take care of their children. I want to appeal to the district leadership to recognize it, to take it up, and we should bring our own children up. This is now a community responsibility. The government recognizes orphanage, orphanages, recognizes people with disability, vulnerable people. The government is ready to help them. So this orphanage, the children here fall in that group. So the district local government should help them when they are planning and budgeting for, 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 for resources. I will appeal to the chairman LC5 and the chief administrative officer to include them so that there is a systematic support, not just on and off, sporadic, that will not help. For West Nile TV, I am Dennis Oringi reporting.